Ready to finally understand something from chemistry class? Then watch this video on periodic trends. The first thing you need to be able to do with any of these trends is define what the trend is measuring. I'm going to start with atomic radius because everything is based on this trend, but the atomic radius is essentially the distance from the center of the atom, nucleus, the outer edge of the class. It's hard to measure, so what we instead do is we measure the distance between nuclei and divide that by two. As you move down a group on the periodic table, energy levels are added to the electron cloud, effectively increasing the size of the atomic radius. I would argue that that part of the trend is pretty easy to understand. It's the other direction that is tricky. So when we are moving across a period of the periodic table, what happens as I move from potassium to calcium? You add protons to the nucleus. Our whole periodic table is arranged on the basis of protons. So as I'm moving from one to the next, I'm adding protons. Now let's think about how that impacts the nucleus. As I add more positively charged protons to the nucleus, the magnitude of positive charge in the nucleus increases. We call this the effective nuclear charge. Or as the magnitude of positive charge in the nucleus increases, we know that forces of attraction are based on the magnitude of charge and the distance between charges. So as the magnitude of charge increases, the coulombic attraction increases. This means that the electrons are gonna be pulled inwardly towards that nucleus. So as I move across a period, I am actually shrinking the size of the radius. So let's back that up. What are the official terms you need to de describe this change? You wanna talk about as you're moving across a row or a period in the periodic table, you are increasing the effective nuclear charge. When you increase the effective nuclear charge, this is gonna increase the Coulombic attraction, effectively shrinking the size of the atomic radius. And then the really cool thing is all of the trends can be related back to this one. Let's look at ionization energy. Thinking about ionization energy, the larger the atomic radius, the further the distance between the positively charged nucleus and those negatively charged electrons. Coulomb's law states that the attractive or repulsive forces are gonna be inversely related to the distance between charges. So that means with the larger atomic radius, we have a greater distance, therefore the smaller the attractive forces and the easier it's going to be to remove an electron. Large atomic radius means low ionization energy. So ionization energy is gonna be opposite that of atomic radius. And guess what? So is just about every other trend. So make sure you feel really solid about describing the atomic radius trend, and then you should be able to handle electronegativity, electron affinity, anything you need to know. Follow Chem with Corinne for more helpful chemistry content like this.